Hey everyone, I hope you're well. So today we're talking about the law of Revenant. Everyone's saying Revenant Reborn is going to come uh, later this season. We don't really know, but that's the rumors. Now, how does that tie into the law? I think the whole story, the rivalry between Loba and Revenant is going to hit an ending. Or, or almost like a climax. And I'm hoping that will be shown through a Stories from the Outland cinematic later this month. We don't know, but that's what I'm really hoping for. Now... Well, how we're going to go and kind of take a look back at the story is by taking a look at two sort of hidden lore pieces that are on the lore hub that they don't really ever talk about or they didn't really advertise much. This first piece shows what happens between Loba and Revenant. Loba wanted to kill Revenant to get revenge. And then Revenant decided, oh, actually, I don't, I don't want to live. I want to die. I'm fed up with this life. So Loba's like, oh, if I kill Revenant, I'm giving him what he wants. So Loba then decides to... Um, Keep Revenant around. This first cinematic here, or sort of like lore piece, will discover that story, and then it continues with another lore piece, and they're actually connected, and it's telling this over the story uh, over time between Loba and Revenant and Valkyrie, which I hope will have a really fun ending uh, later this season. Let's get into it. Here we are. Got something for me, Loba? Yes. A surprise. I found your source code in an underground vault. Just like Hammond said. Then why don't you go get it? Oh, I did. So remember, at this point, Loba wants to find Revenant's source code, which is basically his real human head, and kill him, right? To get revenge. And but things change. Those <clears throat> phase runners. I had no idea how far they reach. Press of a button and just like that, your source code's halfway to Gridiron. What? You took away everything I cared about. Now I'm taking away everything you care about. I wish they made this into a real cinematic. Like, the sound effects are cool. Uh, you know, it would be so cool if they made, like, mini little actual cinematic scenes for these things. But this is the law. This is what happens. You're not dying today. You're not dying ever. You have a long, miserable life ahead of you. And for once, killing won't get you what you want. Come after me if you like. But the one thing you care about in this universe is still gone. Think on that for a while, won't you? After all, you have nothing but time. So this next cinematic is between Loba and Valkyrie. It's this developing sort of love story between those two, which then leads on from the other one, where Revenant wants to find someone to kill. Uh, we really want to pay attention to like what's being said here. This is definitely setting the motion for what I hope to be a really cool uh, cinematic later this year. I hope so. It might just be another lore piece like this, but I really hope we get stories from the Outlands. Uh, let's get into it. Fox when they need a break. Weirdos, right? <laughs> yes, I can't say I relate. Meanwhile, this is exactly how I expected you to blow off steam. <laughs> Not the best shot in the Outlands by accident. <laughs> There's some stiff competition for that title. And is that who you're trying to get off your mind? You don't want to know who's on my mind. Wow. Chick's luckier than she knows. Who are you talking about? Wait, uh, who are you talking about? The Demonio, of course. Are you... Oh, uh, um... Just giving about up Bangalore. too much space in your head, aren't you? <laughs> I hardly have a choice. Look, I'm not here to tell you how to live. But the longer this goes, the uglier it gets. Well, aren't you full of wisdom? You don't know what I've been through. Oh, I'm not exactly green here. Woke up one day and never saw my dad again. 
Lucky you. I saw my father again. I wish I hadn't. Oh, well, I mean, if that's the measuring stick, I did too. Pulled what was left out of a wrecked Titan, then did whatever I could to get out here and get even. Have the scars to prove it. Scars? Adorable. I was almost buried alive. Well, burying me alive is the nicest thing some people would do if they ever found me. In my line of work, we call those valuable customers. Oh, is that why you're keeping the trash can around? Valuable customer? For someone so light on her feet, you tread heavily, Miss Imahara. I'm just saying. You told me you had a chance to finish it. Why didn't you? He thanked so he's talking about uh, the whole Revenant thing, right? I don't think I, like, really watched this one. So they're talking about Revenant, um, you know. This is kind of carrying on from the other Revenant one we watched at the start of this video. Uh, that's interesting. Thanked me for the opportunity. But he wanted to die. He wants nothing more than to leave this world. But he doesn't deserve peace. He deserves to suffer forever. But then you'll suffer forever. I seem to recall you had a rendezvous with the Commissioner, but you didn't end it either. Yeah, because he doesn't matter. I gave up two years. So she's talking about the moment in the North Star cinematic where Valkyrie was announced, where she could have killed Blisk, right? To get revenge on Blisk for putting Viper in the situation where he died, Viper being Valkyrie's dad, but she decided not to too many enemies and drag my mom across the universe for Kubin Blisk. He doesn't deserve to be the most important person in my life. If I went through with it, he would be. Forever. Whatever I do now, it's gonna be about me. What I want. It seems that what you want now is company. Is someone offering? I shouldn't be. Not while he's got his eyes on me. Well, I've put enough dents between those light bulbs. So obviously Revenant said he would kill anyone that Loba ever loves. So, you know, story development. Valkyrie and Loba, will Revenant ever like try to kill Valkyrie? I guess that's like the the um the way this is meant to be going. This is the way the story is developing, and now we're just waiting to see what happens, right? We still don't know. But it will happen eventually. Plenty of time to make good on it. Sounds to me like he's blown smoke. It's late. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm feeling a bit peckish. I expect you are too. Oh. Uh, your treat? Or yours. If I can outshoot you. <laughs> Defend my title or treat a beautiful woman? Decisions, decisions. So we're gonna see this story, right? We are gonna see this story develop, um, which is pretty cool. We're gonna see um, Revenant want to take uh, Loba's loved one's life. And then I think what's gonna happen is well, maybe, like, what I'm hoping is we'll get a proper stories from the Outland cinematic where we see Revenant trying to attack Valkyrie. Loba has to then go and kill Revenant. And then what happens is uh, Revenant dies and then he becomes Revenant Reborn, an even more sinister version of himself. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> okay, step aside. Let me show you how to do this. And, uh, yeah, that's it, I believe. I don't think there's anything about Revenant at the end. No, that's it. Uh, yeah, so I think that's what's going to happen. Hopefully we get to see that happen later this season. I'm really hoping so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio.